All right, so we're out here next to the hive. This is just gonna be an Italian hive. Today is December 26th, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do an oxalic acid uh, dribble treatment. Now let's talk about why we would be doing that. I didn't do any kind of a mite wash. I wanna keep the winter cluster as large as possible, so I'm not gonna take 300 bees um, out of this hive to do a mite wash. I already know that these bees required treatment because I did mite washes through the year and I had to do treatments. So that's the reason why I'm going to go ahead and do a treatment here in December. It's a good idea to do oxalic acid vapor or oxalic acid dribble in Dece early December, late December, even into early parts of January. Uh, I like to do one like the last week of November and then again the last week of December, which is what I'm doing now. You could do vapor or you can do the dribble. I prefer the dribble method, but either one works. The reason that I don't really care for the vapor method as much. It's just, I don't have the best equipment for it. I just have one of those little trays with on the wand that you put in here. Um, I don't like having to put the mask on and, and do all that. Uh, now, if I had like a ProVap with a hole in here, that would sit, that would make it a lot easier, but ProVaps are extremely expensive and I don't have enough hives to justify it. This is my only hive right now. Um, this is my first year. I started in the spring with a package and a queen. Uh, from barnyard bees and that's where this came from uh, this spring i am going to expand uh, i'll do a split from this uh, probably a couple of times i did take a split off of this last year but i gave it to my buddy down the road at castle grounds apiary um, let's talk about a little bit of the things that you're going to need for this so right here i have a 5 ml syringe um, i'm going to advise you to get a 50 ml syringe for this it'll it'll just keep you from having to refill as often you need five mls per uh, you know between each frame so if you have a 50 ml syringe you can go you know between multiple seams uh, without having to refill i have to refill between every seam uh, so i'm going to change that um, and then here i just have a disposable cup and a disposable spoon so i just mixed everything in here use this spoon and that's what i did there i'm not going to tell you the exact measurements that i used uh, because it may be different for you depending on how many hives that you're treating so what i'm going to do instead is put a link to betterbee.com down in the description and they have instructions on how to mix and the amounts that you're going to need so just follow that i'm also going to put a link down below to randy oliver's website scientificbeekeeping.com and it talks about the efficacy of the oxalic acid dribble method and the benefits to that let me circle back to why we do it in december a lot of people are going to know this but some people aren't oxalic acid vapor or dribble either one do not work very well when there's a lot of brood in the hive uh, it does not work and get through the cappings okay so uh, a lot of your mites are going to be underneath the cappings where they reproduce and you're not going to get any effect on those this is only going to treat phoretic mites which are the mites that are outside of the cappings that are on your bees or walking around on cells the reason that we do it in december is you don't typically have a lot of brood uh, when i did the last oa dribble treatment at the end of november i think it was uh it was november 26th maybe or 27th uh, i didn't have a single bit of brood in the in the hive they went completely broodless at that point i did an inspection two weeks ago and there was a little bit of brood in there uh, so they they they, they brooded back up a little bit, but not much. Uh, I'm gonna check it today. I don't anticipate there being much brood, and then we'll go ahead and do the treatment. The other thing is temperature. So today it's 70 degrees outside. Yeah, it's December 26, 70 degrees, central Oklahoma. You wanna do this whenever the temperature is 55 degrees and above. If it's below 55, the bees are typically gonna be more clustered, and the same rule applies to the vapor. Whenever they're really tightly clustered, uh, the treatment does not have as, as big an effect on them. The, the vapor can't get into there, and the dribble can't get into the middle of the cluster. So all the phoretic mites that are in the middle of the cluster on the bees are not going to get hit by this. Um, if you clean your bottom board and do this, this dribble method or, or a vapor and check your, your bottom board the next day or a couple days later, you'll see a lot of dead mites on the bottom. I did the treatment and I came back a week later and there were dead mites all over it that were not there before. So I know it works well. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. I'm gonna pop this hive open, take a look and see what we got and then I will meet back up with you guys at that point. Okay guys, we are back. This is my, my bottom deep. I also have a, a medium uh, with food stores and another medium on top of that that's just acting as a quilt box. What you're looking for is how many seams of bees do you have? I already know uh, here, 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 there are no bees in these three seams, okay? So I'm not gonna put any oxalic acid dribble in there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six seams here uh, with bees that are gonna need the treatment, okay? So let me grab that. So I've got the 
cup and I've got the syringe. And all I'm gonna do, hopefully you can see this, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna pull five mLs. Hopefully if you have a 50, you just pull the whole 50. And then it's gonna be just like the name suggests, it's just a dribble. So a back and forth motion right into the seam. Don't squirt it, just let it dribble. See how it's dribbling as I'm moving, dribbling as I'm moving. Back and forth. And the bees are gonna consume this, they're gonna pass it along to one another, it's gonna get on their bodies, and those oxalic acid crystals that are within this uh, sugar water uh, will get on the mites and it will kill the mites. It will not harm the bees at all. Just like the uh, when you do oxalic acid vapor, uh, it does not harm uh, the bees, the vapor doesn't. Be very careful about doing this uh, during robbing season. Uh, if you have a lot of hives, it could start up a robbing frenzy just because you have sugar water right out in the open. So I'm just gonna go along here and dribble it back and forth until it's gone. Some may get on the top bars, that's fine. They'll drink that, they'll walk through it. So that's two, three, no, that was the second. Okay, so we're on the third seam. The hive is looking pretty healthy. There was some brood, uh, two frames, well, just one side of two frames had a small patch of brood, so still not a lot of brood. Queen was looking healthy. Uh, I did not see any eggs, so she may have stopped laying for a little while. If you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know. I check comments daily. Uh, so I'll probably respond to you pretty quick. I know there's gonna be something I'm forgetting. This is my first, uh, officially my first YouTube video for this Lawson's Creek Apiary channel. I will tell you, starting in the spring, I am gonna do an episodic series, like a week by week, or at least bi-weekly, um, and just bring you guys along with each inspection and what I'm looking for and what my plans are. Um, I am plan like I said, I'm planning on doing some splitting should probably have three hives by the end of next season but especially for you you people that live in central oklahoma or that live in a climate similar to ours it kind of give you an idea um, of what you should be doing at least timing wise you can't follow step by step what i'm doing because a lot of what we do in beekeeping is a response to what we see when we do our inspections um, and i'll outline outline that whenever i do my inspections and if i see something abnormal and i need to take care of it I'll let you know, but there are some routine things that need to be done. We need to be doing mite washes on a regular basis. Probably every three to four weeks, starting in the spring. Um, but that's not what this video is about. I'll get more into that uh, when I start the series in the spring. Probably be late February to early March when that gets started. Okay, one more seam. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the top box. Count the seams of bees and I'm gonna treat those seams. I'm not gonna make you guys watch that. It's the exact same thing. So to kind of just round up here, um, follow that Better Bee link to make your recipe. Mixing instructions, all that are in there. And I may have already mentioned this, but just in case I didn't, and the, the article may mention it as well, you're gonna use hot water to mix this, just hot tap water. Um, make sure you let that cool off, at least down to about room temperature before you come out here and start uh, dribbling this on the bees. You don't wanna dribble really hot water onto them. So and you can see the bees, they're not, they're not freaking out. The reason that they're really not freaking out is because they're so distracted, I can see them right in here. They're just, they're just eating up the sugar water. 
um, so they're not going to mess with me. Back to that recap though, make sure that uh, it's above 55 degrees outside. I'm doing it kind of early in the day. It's about noon right now. That'll give this time to you know, to evaporate, the girls to drink it, to walk through it and all that before it gets to the overnight lows. And it's not gonna be that bad tonight. I think the overnight lows are somewhere in the 40s, so it's not gonna be freezing or anything, but keep that in mind. Check your overnight lows, make sure it's not gonna be below freezing and don't do this in the evening if that's gonna be the case. Uh, try to do it earlier in the day. Um, also, if you kind of do it earlier in the day, 10, 11 o'clock before most of the foragers leave the hive, you're gonna get more contact with more bees, uh, but it really isn't that big of a deal because the foragers are going to be coming and going and they're going to get, these oxalic acid crystals are going to get spread throughout the hive because of this dribble. So uh, you're still going to have a very high mite drop if you do have a mite problem. But I will uh, end that right there. Let me Again, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Hopefully you learned something. I'm a big proponent of this method. So if you do decide to use it, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.